Hey, it's Michael Lafito. I want to share with you the three most important numbers you as a real estate agent have to be aware of in your local market today versus maybe a year ago or two years ago to give some kind of historical context to your database, to your buyer clients, your seller clients. You know, the news, I say garbage in, garbage and most people say garbage out. No, the news is garbage in, garbage stays. They want to put a lot of fear out there. Fear sells versus positive news. And you want to be the news source for your database. So the three most important numbers, I just want to remind you, the three most important data points and numbers that you need to be aware of is how many homes have sold over the last year or to year, year to date compared to the previous year to date. So in other words, in your market, in your multiple listing service, if 930 homes have sold this year, and a year ago, 890 homes have sold, that means more homes are selling this year versus last year. That's a good thing. If 930 have sold this year and last year, 1800 have sold, well then, you know, twice as many homes last year sold than this year. That's not necessarily a good thing. So number one is how many homes have sold compared to the previous year. Give it some kind of historical context in your local market. Because the ABCs, the Foxes, the NBCs, they might talk about national average, but you only really care about your market data, your market average. The second number you want to be really familiar with is days on market. So how many days on market average in your local market to until a home goes under contract versus historically? So how many homes have sold, days on market, and then the third number is months of inventory. We've talked about months of inventory before. You'll see a slide come across. It's real simple. When there's seven or more months of inventory, that's what we call a buyer's market. When there's five or six months of inventory, that's a balanced or a neutral market. And when there's four months or less, we call that a seller's market. And so many of your markets were a seller's market for the last two years. And I think that there's a, there's, remember I talk about the four buckets and really five buckets. There's four price points in most markets. And overall in the first bucket, we might call that entry or starter level. That might be a seller market overall. The average bucket is bucket number two. And the third bucket is high-end homes. And then the fourth bucket is luxury. And I throw out the fifth bucket in some big markets. We call that ultra luxury. Overall in your market, it might be a buyer's market. But at some bucket in your marketplace, it might be a seller's market. Many, many, uh, many markets, it's that entry level or the average price point. So overall, be familiar with, are you in a buyer's market or seller's market or a balance market? But even in those four or five different price points in your market, they might vary. I hope this is uh, helpful again to review. How many homes have sold in your market compared to the previous year? Number two, your days on market. And number three, are you overall in a buyer's market and a seller's market? And you base that based on how many months of inventory. As always, leave us a like, leave us a comment. Shoot me an email if you have questions. My contact information is below. And feel free to join us on our uh, weekly live streams, Luxury Fridays. My name is Michael Lafito. Take care.